Okay, so if you want to run an analysis of variance, an ANOVA test, you need to make sure that the data is normal enough. But if each group has, say, eight samples in it, eight samples is too small to check for, for normalcy. But one thing you can do is take the mean residuals of the entire set and look to see if that's normally distributed using a histogram. So the mean res residual is just the difference between each item in a group and the mean for that group. So that's what we're going to do right now. So the first thing we could do is find out, well, what is our sample size for each of these groups? Oops. Equals count. What's the mean? And let's also just check the standard deviation. We can pull these over. And note, one of my samples is smaller. In the real world, this often happens. You might want to have eight samples from each car model, but in this case, one of the samples got contaminated or something happened, so you ended up with one with only seven. Um, so it's okay, you can still do this test. So the setup here is we took CO2 emissions in grams per kilometer for five different car models, and the goal is to run an ANOVA and see if they actually have different levels of emission. And we want to actually get also the total number of samples we have. So one quick little rule of thumb test is you can look to make sure that the standard deviation of none of these groups is more than twice the standard deviation of another. Because if it is, that means the variances are too high and you really shouldn't run an ANOVA, but here we're okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a histogram of the mean residuals. And another rule of thumb is the number of categories in your histogram or the number of bars you want is the square root of the total sum of your samples. So I'm just going to take the square root of the total number of samples we have and got 6.24. So we want about six bars in our histogram. Okay, six categories. So the first thing I want to do is calculate the mean residuals. So I'm going to say equals. I'm going to have each sample minus the mean for that sample. Okay, so now I'm going to go here. Now I want to always be subtracting from row 18. So I'm going to put a little dollar sign there. So when I drag this cell down, I'll just take this different samples minus from row 18, but I don't want to put a dollar sign in front of the B because I want to be able to copy this over for all of them. So I'm going to drag down to there, drag down to over here, and I want to make sure that I delete this one block because that will really skew my data because there is no information in that cell, so I have to get rid of it there. So here I have my mean residuals. Now there's two ways I can make a histogram. One is to use the insert histogram tool, in which case I need to put my data into a column. And the other is to use the data analysis tool histogram. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to say, oh wait, before I do that, I need to create my bin. So to do that, I need my maximum, my minimum, and then create my bin. So what is the largest? difference I have here. What's the largest mean residual? So I'm going to say equals max. Highlight my data here. This equals min. Already that's kind of a good sign that the differences from zero in both directions is about the same. So now I'm going to make my bin, which is going to be the groups for each data. So when I use the, the histogram tool, it's going to, um, each bin is going to be up to that value. So I'm going to say it's going to be up to minus 2, and then I'll do minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So I have five numbers there, but they also have one that's called greater than 2. So this will give me actually six bars, or six groupings. So now I'll go into data analysis, histogram, say OK. I'm going to highlight the data I want to use. 
That's my data. Highlight my bin range right here. Say where I want the output. I want the output maybe right there. And then I want to make sure I click this. I want to make sure I have a chart so I can see this. Okay, so there's my bin frequency. Here's my chart, which I'm going to move up here. And there I have a beautiful normal looking distribution of residuals. Thank goodness I can get rid of that because I know this is frequency. Get rid of that. Change the name to CO2 residuals or CO residuals. And then maybe I want to change the bin width. I could also use one of these fancy charts up here if I wanted. Say, okay, I'll use this. I don't actually like having the numbers here. You can leave that, but oops, just highlight that one. But you go in and get rid of value, but I need to highlight them all. Little options to get rid of value. And you're done. Beautiful, there's your nice distribution. This shows that the numbers are close to the mean in most cases. And the reason this matters, let's say your distribution looked bimodal, so there's a lot of high values and a, hot, a lot of low values, that would suggest that the data you've collected isn't really that close to the mean. There's some really low values, some really high values, so you've got an average, but it doesn't really tell you that much about what the true mean for the Model 5 car is, that the data is not nicely normally distributed. But in this case, the data is nicely normally distributed, so I could go ahead with my ANOVA. Okay, so that's one way to do a histogram. The other way, let me just get rid of this stuff, is um, by putting this data into a column, and then I can just use the histogram tool. So first thing I'm gonna do is copy it and save the values. I'm gonna then um, paste special. Values, I'm just going to paste it right below. Wait, did I copy that? Sorry, I didn't even copy it. Copy it. I'm going to paste it right here. Paste special values. Okay. Now I have it. So now I'm just going to copy each thing, put it below. There's actually a tool where you can do this. But honestly, this is a small data set, so this is just faster. All right, now I'm just gonna highlight this. I'm gonna hit Shift Command down to highlight. And now I'm gonna say insert histogram. Make my nice little histogram. Now, it put it in five columns. I want six, and I'd like to have the numbers be a little bit better here. So I'm gonna to try to change this. So I don't want the bins to be auto. I want to put number of bins, and I want it to be six. Now it still doesn't, it's not gonna have good numbers because it's gonna go down to three and up to three, and I want it to go down to two and up to two. that work? Mm, okay. There we go. So now it, in the groups there's um, less than minus two, minus two and minus one, minus one, zero, etc. So there's my nice, my nice histogram. And again, I can change my title to CO residuals. And I can, you know, choose one of these fancy styles, whatever I want to do. Okay. And now that I see that my data is normal enough, I could run my ANOVA. Okay. That's all. I hope that's helpful.